Hello guys, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Hope RBI. In this particular lecture, I'm going to talk about some of the sources that I'm going to use for the preparation of RBI Grade B examination for the year 2022. I have already been preparing for this examination for almost a year and a half and I am familiar with various kind of sources that are required for you to clear your concepts regarding various subjects like quantitative aptitude, reasoning, English, uh, general awareness or even ESI or FMR. Um, uh, you know various reports and indices or whatever is included in the syllabus so I'm going to talk about everything in this particular video I'm to I'm going to talk about how to approach for quantitative aptitude and what kinds of, what kind of sources to use in order to make yourself uh, comfortable in solving any kind of question that you encounter in the RBI grade B examination now because as you know that the level of examination has been increased so you also need to uh, you know refer to some good sources that would be able to increase your knowledge and increase the level of questions that you are practicing for your uh, examination in future so if you think that some of the books or some of the sources that I am recommending you guys is not good enough for you or you think that some other sources are uh, better than the sources discussed here you comment down below and you let all of us know so that uh, me as an aspirant as well as other aspirant uh, would also get benefited from those sources you can also join the telegram channel that I've created for this uh, channel hope RBI so that you would be able to share uh, your contents or your uh, 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 you know your sources so that everybody could benefit out of those so without wasting much of your time let's get into the contents so as you all know that the phase one is constitutive of uh, four ma major subjects quantitative aptitude your reasoning your English and the major big chunk of general awareness very very important so as you know that the level of examination has been increased now it is time consuming it is difficult it is tough so we need to level up our game as well so in this video i'm going to talk about how to prepare for quantitative aptitude keeping in mind the aspirants who have been preparing for this examination for a long time and also the aspirants who are getting to know about rbi this year only and uh, who are actually wanting to prepare for this examination well enough to crack this examination in their very first attempt i'm going to share the sources that i used previously and i'm going to use to level up my game so first of all i recommend you guys to follow some of the youtube videos okay there are various YouTube videos regarding the you know concept clearance and uh, discussing some of the shortcut tricks so that you would be able to solve the questions uh, in a, a time bound manner more quick quickly. So you are all advised to follow some of the YouTube videos. I followed the YouTube videos from Adda247 for clearing the concepts and I followed the YouTube videos from EduTap as well. Okay, it really helped me to uh, you know set the base for my quantitative aptitude and uh, to uh, you know get to know about some of the shortcut tricks you don't need to have some kind of paid courses for uh, getting to know about the shortcut tricks you can actually find various kind of youtube videos be it from these two channels or from any other sources uh, in the youtube you can find out various tricks uh, to solve the questions quickly i am from the non medical background so i was very good at uh, good in cons so i was not actually worried about the concept building the more i was worried about was regarding the shortcut tricks which i actually followed from youtube videos and for practicing the questions i recommend you two books which i actually followed during the preparation phase for various banking examination the first book that i uh, actually recommend you guys is uh, quantitative aptitude by Kiran Publications. It's a really good book. Uh, there are very good questions given in this particular book. So you can solve this uh, book um, as a whole. Okay, you don't need to actually skip any of the question. You need to revise uh, the questions from uh, the book that you're practicing from. And I recommend you guys to keep practicing the questions in a time bound manner. So I recommend you guys to keep a stopwatch with you. I know it's a lot nobody is actually uh, taking the pain to start the stopwatch and then uh, calculate and then solve the answers but it is not a time wasting technique guys it is really very important for you to increase your speed as well because the paper is lengthy now so it is required for you guys to uh, you know level up your game to increase the speed in order to uh, solve the questions more quickly in the examinations so not only about the quality of examination but also the speed in which you are solving the question is really very important so i recommend you that and the second method that you can do to incre increase your speed is through mock tests mock tests okay i will share at the end of this video what kind of mock test you are required to follow which i actually followed and if you think that those are not good enough for you and you recommend some of the good 
uh, mock tests that are out there which are not actually known to me or to the aspirants uh, which are actually watching this video you can share it down below in the comment section as well so the second book that i followed was was ssc mathematics most of you guys might have might as well have heard of this book ssc mathematics by rakesh yadav rakesh yadav it's a very good book it's only the book regarding your questions there is no conceptual knowledge given in this book only the questions are given you may also find the syllabus of ssc in it as well for example geometry or trigonometry or number system or algebra you have to skip those uh, chapters and you have to mainly emphasis on the uh, arithmetic section that is actually asked in your uh, banking examinations arithmetics so you have to focus on that there are some good level questions as well in this particular book so you can solve these questions in a time bound manner as i suggested you guys to keep a stopwatch when i was preparing for banking examinations i did the exact same thing for myself as well that is why i am recommending you guys because my speed is really good enough now but the level of examination uh, the level of questions that i need to prepare is actually the worry for me now so to increase the level of preparation to increase the level of questions i recommend you guys the book quantum cat quantum cat by sarvesh k verma sarvesh k verma i have a hard copy now i have purchased this book um so i have read various reviews regarding this particular book i am recommending a cat book for you because the level of examination is at par with the level of cat examination now so you can't take any chances so i recommend you guys to follow the book quantum cat for practicing good level question there are some level levels given itself in the chapter like practice questions then your level 1 questions then your level 2 questions these this is of a moderate difficulty level this is of high difficulty level these are of you know easy questions to practice uh, to start your basics with so it is a really good book i have not actually completed this book i have just read only a few things so i think that it might be a good book and if you think that some other book is also should also be recommended for the preparation please let us know down below and the mock test finally the mock test that i'm going to talk about is i actually myself followed the mock tests of olive board and practice mock i actually told this in my uh, strategy video as well so if you gonna if you want to check that video out you can check the i card flashing right in front of you right now so olive board and practice mock these are really good level tests that you can encounter in your uh, preparation and i am hoping that after the level of 2021 examination the level of mocks which was already of such a high level would also be taken further uh, you know up uh, regarding the uh, questions that were asked in 2021 okay keeping in mind the uh, paper of 2021 i am hoping that the level of question has been increased by these two mock tests uh, platforms as well so i recommend you that and uh, if you think that uh, some other uh, sources should be followed as i already have said you can comment down below and let us know as well because i'm also an aspirant and uh, i need to prepare well for this examination as well just like you guys so that is what i am following and uh, i also recommend you guys to take uh, some of the mock tests of mains examinations of other banking examinations also like ibps po mains uh, or sbi po mains or SBI clerk mains or even IBPS RRB regional rural banks mains okay i am recommending you guys because the level of mains examination of these particular examinations is similar to that of the preliminary examination of RBI grade b now so you cannot take any chances the more you practice the better it will be for you guys because it will not only enhance your speed in order to crack this examination but it will also increase the accuracy and there is no need to get panicked from these kind of tests because i know the uh, people who are uh, the aspirants who are starting their preparation they might actually get lower marks even in the negatives they might get uh, the marks in these kind of mock tests but trust me the best method is to submit the test first and then solve the hard level questions okay you solve them you analyze them and you check what kind of shortcuts are being used in these particular platforms so that you would be able to solve them quickly in the final examination i know now the level is of such uh high uh heights level is of such heights that even if you give your 100% you are only actually facing your 55 
to 60% in actual examination okay so you need to level up your game only by practice only by practice you cannot actually have any kind of shortcut in practicing you have to practice you should be practicing so much that even in the question that you are encountering it should be just you you should be able to encounter that i know this type of question and the the uh, value of the question is different but i can put this value and i can solve it because i know this kind of question i have already practiced such kind of questions so that it would give you not only the confidence but also the speed to solve these questions in the examination so that is it for the quantitative aptitude if you have any doubts regarding this please let me know down in the comment section and if it is in my uh, ambit to solve your queries i will be happy to do so and if you have any material to share with us you can definitely share it either in the comment section or you can share uh, the actual files that you have in our telegram channel i've already linked it uh, down in the description so you can actually check this out and thank you so much for watching this video i will soon come up with a strategy for reasoning as well for english as well for ga and for the phase 2 examination subjects as well so thank you so much for watching this video have a great day